It's time for a word from Calhoun County. Hey, how's it going? Cutting heck here. Heck, Calhoun. You didn't really come because you thought I had another Charlie story, did you? Wait a minute, I think I, I, think I do have one more. Yeah, it's a good one. It's kind of short, it ain't that great. I try to embellish it as much as I can while trying to keep myself honest. Anyhow, Charlie, he likes, you know, as you know, I've already mentioned this, uh, but I ain't sure the order I'm putting these up, so maybe you don't know. Uh, he likes to raise turkeys and chickens and quails and all kinds of other animals. And uh, he has several turkeys around there, and he had terrible trouble with foxes. Terrible trouble. Uh, Charlie, right now, he doesn't have a pickup truck. Somehow he got himself a van. I don't know why or how. Anyway, Charlie rides around in a, in a full-size van. It's a stretch van, big Ford Econoline van or something like that. Anyhow, and uh, Charlie don't sleep real good sometimes. He likes to go out, get in his van in the middle of the night, 2 30, 3 o'clock, run up to 7 11 and get a he likes to get a, a coffee, or he's got to where he he likes drinking hot tea now. I don't know, but anyhow, that's what he enjoys doing. And uh, he had been keeping an eye on them foxes. He stays up. That's why he don't sleep too good sometimes. He's ready to get up and shoot a fox. He's been trying to shoot. He he kind of has it rigged up. He's got a little bait thing out the back there, and he'll check on him throughout the night if there's a, a fox out there trying to dig up what he's buried there. He'll, uh, he can ease the gun out there and <laughs> knock him off pretty, 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 pretty effectively. Anyhow, and, uh, he only had about well, one turkey left. And that turkey had gotten to roosting up pretty high. And, uh, he would, uh, sometimes he'd roost on the the roof of that van and uh, one night old Charlie he was just sick and tired of waiting around for the fox that didn't show up and he'd been taking cat naps sleeping in and out he decided well I'll go ahead and uh, get in the van and run on up there to 7-Eleven so he knows the guy that works there the guy always enjoys seeing Charlie come is always something new and interesting I don't know he's some Pakistani guy or something, I forget his name, and he can't speak English real good, but then again, neither can Charlie, so anyhow, but uh, Charlie gets in his van, and the 7-Eleven is uh, two, three miles up the road, something like that, he gets in there, and backs around, goes out to the driveway, opens up the gate, pulls through, closes the gate, Goes on, turns the left, heading on up there, goes through over the hill and past the firehouse, and he comes to the light, puts his blinker on, he turns left and goes on the next mile or so, and pulls in there, and uh, the guy, the owner, Pakistani feller, is uh, he ain't got too many customers, and he's kind of wary. He he kind of unlocks the door when people come that he knows. He was standing there on the inside and Charlie pulled up and Charlie noticed he's just kind of staring like that. He don't know what in the world that fellow staring at. He walked out there, Charlie got out of his van and that fellow come out, unlocked the door for him. He's looking up. Charlie turns around looking to try to see what he's looking at. He don't see nothing anywhere. The fellow said, what, what is that? Charlie said, that's my van. No, no, what, what is that? I guess that's the uh, top of my van. What are you talking about? No, no, no. on your roof. What is that? <laughs> well, Charlie looks, and that turkey, his one turkey that he had left, was up there roosting on the roof of that van. And that, how in the world that turkey stayed on there is beyond me. He was sound asleep 
I don't know, he must have got his claws in some of the chipping paint or something on the roof of that van. It's completely smooth on the top of that van. And it, but you can see that turkey up there. And Charlie being parked underneath the street light in front of this 7-Eleven. Mr. Turkey was getting ready to, he was kind of blinking his eyes a little bit, thinking it's something up. He's getting ready to get up. And he's a wild turkey now. I mean, he's tame, but he's not one that jumps in your lap and you scratch him behind the ears, if you can figure out where the ears are. But uh, he was not so you could get your hand on him. I mean, he stayed around there, around his yard, and Charlie thought to himself, man, this, this turkey is going to get up. He's going to wake up and he's going to fly off somewhere. <laughs> I, I got to get him. So here's Charlie. Charlie's 80, a couple years old. And he's going around this van trying to not excite this turkey, trying not to scare him. He's climbing up here. He's, he, he climbs up. The, he opens up the driver's door, climbs up there, and the turkey starts creeping to the back and creeping to the back. Oh, man. It just can't quite reach him. Then finally, Charlie opened up the back doors on the thing, climbed up on there, and he let him keep on creeping. He was staying ducked down. When he got close enough, Charlie peeped up there and reached up and grabbed him and the thing was <laughs> Feathers was flying everywhere. The Pakistani guy ran back inside and locked his door. <laughs> well, Charlie put the turkey in the van, closed the doors, and all nonchalant like and went on in there <laughs> and asked the Pakistani guy to give him give him the usual which was a cup of hot tea so that's what he got <laughs> and he backed on out there went on over with the turkey in the back I guess he let him let him stay the night in the back of the van and next morning let him out trying to save his tray save his skin save his feathers from that old fox but the hand of the world that thing stayed on there, I don't know. Mm. Must have glue on the bottom of his feet. <laughs> yeah, well, Charlie didn't think nothing of it. That's just old stuff for Charlie. Anyhow, we'll get you a better one next time. That was, that's just to hold you till there's another time. All right, we'll catch you next time. See you.